GDI injectors are the future of the gasoline engine. To test GDI injectors correctly, you will need the ASNEW GDI adapter box. Please ensure your GDI adapter box has been connected to your ASNEW system correctly, as explained in the instruction manual. When fitted in the engine, the GDI injectors have an operating pressure of between 50 and 120 bar. For safety reasons, we do not operate these injectors at these pressures on the ASNEW system. We recommend testing at a simulated differential pressure of 5 bar. This is sufficient pressure to give a visual display of the injector's spray pattern. Due to the design of the injector, visual examination of the injector's spray pattern in some modes may be difficult. Others will be easier. Not all GDI injectors have the same operating features and spray pattern design. There are many GDI injector manufacturers, including Bosch, Siemens, Hitachi, Denso, Morelli, covering a large number of vehicle applications. Please note that it may be necessary to insert one of the ASNEW 89 rail inserts into the bottom of your rail to support the injectors. Please check before mounting the injectors. Select the injector coupling to suit the injectors you are testing. Please consult the ASNEW Parts and Accessories catalog for coupling identification and fitting recommendation. If you have any queries, please contact your local ASNEW distributor or see our website www.asnew.com Mount the injectors in the same way as the standard top feed injectors. Some GDI injectors may require a different wiring harness. Please check you have the relevant harness before testing. Connect the wiring harness to the GDI adapter box. Connect the fuel supply pipe, making sure you release any pressure in the pipe before connecting. Before you begin, we would recommend you familiarize yourself with the GDI adapter box function and mode screens by viewing each screen separately, as there are screens that may be specific to the injectors you are testing. These screens can be viewed separately on the GDI adapter training DVD. At the startup screen, you will be offered a selection of standard injectors or range of GDI injectors by manufacturer. Select the manufacturer of the injectors you are testing and press OK. You will now be offered a selection of injectors from that manufacturer listed by part number. As these injectors are tested sequentially, there are limitations to which MS and RPM settings you can run. To give the best coverage, we have selected various settings that we believe suit the injector's functions and the operator's needs. Select the injector part number and quantity of injectors you are testing and press OK. Please note that these settings are to OE specification. Using the wrong setting for testing could damage the injector. If you wish to cancel screen at any time, press the stop button and you will be returned to the main screen. The system is at mode 1 prime. Carry out your test procedures in the same way you would with normal top feed injectors. Set the pressure to 5 bar. The ASNEW GDI adapter operates sequentially, so the injectors will fire in turn rather than all at the same time. All modes simulate the injector's electronic operation exactly as they would when fitted in the engine. In faster modes, the injectors look like they are firing simultaneously, but they are in fact running sequential mode. While the injectors are in the display window, examine the injectors for leaks, electronic operation, spray pattern distribution and fuel atomization. We recommend rotating each injector left, then right whilst examining the spray operation. Any discrepancy in the spray pattern could have an adverse effect on the correct running, performance, fuel economy and emission levels of the vehicle's engine. In this first sequence, you can see four injectors at the same time. We've run them through a range of MS and RPM settings 
examining the injector's fuel distribution, atomization and electronic operation for any inconsistencies or irregularities. These types of injectors are designed to create a very fine atomization. This atomization can make the examination of the injector's functions very difficult when all operating at the same time. By pressing the left or right keypad, you can switch to individual operation of the injectors. Pressing the left or right key will change injector selection. In this next sequence, we have a mix of same style GDI injectors, some with different spray patterns, some with spray pattern problems, and number four has an electrical problem as it does not operate all the time. You can see the spray patterns are different from the previous injectors. You can also see that when run in the slow RPM mode, the spray pattern is very pronounced and visible. Next, place the fuel rail in the flow tubes. Select the mode setting you would like to flow the injectors in and press the go key. As these style of injectors are very economical in their deliveries, you may decide to flow the injectors many times or in different modes to achieve an acceptable delivery rate. can be flowed in any of the operation modes. We recommend flowing the injectors as many times as necessary to achieve a minimum of 50 milliliters. Some manufacturers do not recommend pulsing of the injectors during the ultrasonic cleaning program. In these instances, the selected program will not allow pulsing and you will note that the injectors will not pulse during the cleaning cycle. In our experience, we have not found any problems with the injectors that could have been caused by ultrasonic cleaning. It is recommended that all injector tips are ultrasonically cleaned, pulsing or not pulsing. It is extremely important that these injectors are serviced in a clinical environment. Every care should be taken not to allow any dirt contamination near the inlet port. It is recommended that the internal filter is not replaced unless there is a specific need for it to be changed. Filters are not replaceable, so please check with your local as new distributor if you have any queries. Due to the high pressure used in the GDI systems, the fuel rail O-rings are of a special type and standard O-rings cannot be used. Please consult with your local as new distributor if you have any queries. The Teflon seal on the base of the injector prevents a backflow loss of pressure during compression and excessive air inductions during the combustion stroke. These seals must be replaced every time the injectors are removed from the engine. Failure to do so could result in any of the aforementioned problems. Tools to replace these seals are provided with the as new GDI adapter box. Please follow the instructions carefully.